from WDTN, this is Operation Football. Hello and welcome to our playoff edition of Operation Football. With the expanded field, a whole bunch of area teams in action tonight with Divisions 5 through 7 taking the field tomorrow night. All right, Hutch, let's kick it off. We begin the night with a G-Walk rematch. Centerville beat Springboro by 19 in week six. The stakes, of course, much higher in this contest with the winner moving on and the season coming to an end for the loser. Out to Centerville Stadium, an emotional night for Elks country who honored legendary head coach Bob Gregg who passed away earlier this week. Former Elks AJ Hawk, Kirk Herbstreet, and others paid tribute to a great man. I even played for him. On the other side was Springboro assistant coach Ron Ullery, spent 37 years on Bob Drake's staff. Panthers strike on their opening drive. Second play from scrimmage. Quarterback Sam Feldman fires a strike to Mason Leach, and he pulls away 72 yards, and that's a touchdown. 7-0, Burrow out in front. On the Panthers' very next drive, it's Sam Feldman off the play fake. And he hits Allen Hopkins, and Allen is going to take it for a first down. The ball comes loose, but watch the ref. He says he's down, 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 down. Moments later, Feldman on a quarterback draw, just like they drew it up. Touchdown. Springboro came out on fire. They were up 14 to nothing. But it was all Centerville after that. Chase Harrison rolls right. And he's rolling some more. And why not roll a little bit more before the future Marshall quarterback completes the pass to Bryce Cowgill, and that's a first down. Then facing the rain and a long fourth and four deep in borough territory, Chase Harrison to Bryce Cowgill again. And this time he's going to take it to the house and fall in for the touchdown. Centerville erupts, scoring the final 34 points of the ball game as we go to the final in this one. Centerville wins big 34-14. The Elks are now moving on to week 12. 